High school student Blake Ellen and her teammates are currently barred from using the locker room after some of the girls on the team objected to allowing a transgender player in the girls' locker room. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about girls being banned from the girls' locker room to make way for transgender girls. You heard that right. I did not say incorrectly. I'm talking about biological XX girls who have been banned from the girls' locker room to accommodate transgender girls. So to be clear, I'm talking about biological XY boys who now identify as girls. All right. They want that specific space for them. So what's the best way to accommodate them? Get rid of the biological XX girls. Now, before I go any further, let's roll this clip. And of course, this clip will be in the description box if you want to see it and hear it without my commentary. But we got to check this out. This is in, I think this is in Burlington, Vermont, or somewhere in Vermont. Let's, let's just check it out. Matter of fact, Randolph, Vermont, let's roll the clip. A high school volleyball team has been banned from its own locker room while school officials investigate a conflict involving a transgender student on the team. Kiana Burks is live outside of Randolph Union High School where she talked with one of the players who is now facing disciplinary action. Kiana, what do you know? Vermont education policy says that students can play sports and use whatever locker room corresponds with their gender. But some members of the Randolph girls volleyball team say that they object to having one of their transgender teammates use be in the room while they change. I spoke to one of the girls. It's a huge thing. Everyone's asking like, so why aren't you allowed in the locker room? Like high school student Blake Ellen and her teammates are currently barred from using the locker room after some of the girls on the team objected to allowing a transgender player in the girls locker room. My mom wants me to do this interview to try to make a change. Ellen says the dispute started when the trans student made an inappropriate comment while members of the volleyball team were getting changed. She says her issue is not with having the trans student on the team or at school, but specifically in the locker room. Biological boys that go in the girls bathroom, but never a locker room situation. She she says that fellow team members and parents have also raised similar concerns and have approached the school with them. They were told that under state law, the transgender student could use whatever locker room they identified with. In an email to families, school officials said that the school has plenty of space where students who feel uncomfortable with the laws may change in privacy. They want all, all the girls who feel uncomfortable, so pretty much 10 girls, to get changed in a single style bathroom, which would take over 30 minutes, when if one person got changed separately, it would take a minute. Right. So, OK, let's just put everything into perspective here. So 10 girls on the volleyball team, which might almost be the entire team. So they're telling all of them, hey, there's one bathroom with one stall in it. So you can have one person per time in the bathroom. You guys change in there. Right. Rather than a locker room where you have a bunch of different stalls where you can get changed at once after the game or whatever the case may be before the game. Since there's one transgender player on the team. Rather than making them use the bathroom, and which would make sense because it's just one person, they can get changed and it wouldn't take a lot of time. You're not worried about having nine other girls come behind you. That would just make sense. But rather than making this transgender person go to the bathroom, they're making the girls who don't want to be in the bathroom with a biological boy go into the bathroom and change individually. That's not right. I mean, this is crazy. And shout out to this young girl right here for having the bravery to appear on camera and speak about this. Because I understand it can be pretty scary to talk about things like this because of how much pressure there is to just say, oh, it's no big deal. Let these trans people do whatever they want to do. Shout out to her and her teammates for standing up for what's right. Like, no extra time. In the email to parents, school officials say they are conducting an investigation into allegations the girls harassed the transgender student. Lisa Floyd, the co-principal of Randolph Union High School, declined to go on camera, but in an email told me that student safety was the district's highest priority and that when policies are violated, disciplinary action consistent with the law will be taken. We also reached out to the state education agency, but didn't get a response. AOE policy states in part that the use of restrooms and locker rooms by transgender students requires schools to consider numerous factors. But the policy goes on to state that a transgender student should not be required to use a locker room or restroom that conflicts with the student's gender identity. So every girl, no one's allowed in the locker room, no volleyball girls, even during school to get changed for gym class, no one's allowed from volleyball. Wow, so they, they, it's like they pretty much have banned them from locker room altogether. So 
You got you got PE class. You can't even go in there. You can't change it for a game or anything like. So it, it extends beyond just volleyball. You're talking about in general. You can't even go in there and and change. That's crazy. It seems like they're being punished rather than the school trying to abide by the law or to accommodate this trans person in the instance of the volleyball team. And the school says that their decision to close the locker rooms and launch the investigation should not be seen as judgment on either side of the dispute and say that they are continuing to work to create the safest environment possible for all of their students. Reporting in Randolph, Kiana Burks, Channel 3. So there, there's that. Again, this will be in the description if you want to uh, see it, read it, watch it for yourself. There's an article, of course, that goes with it. But that's crazy. That's totally crazy. Why should biological XX girls be paying from the girls' locker room? I mean, how was this even a thing to say? How was it even a thing to talk about? Why is it not just common sense? It's like, okay, girls go in the girls' locker room. Boys go in the boys' locker room. If you're transgender or whatever, and you may want to use the girls' locker room or the boys' locker room, you really shouldn't because, again, you have a girls' locker room in the boys' locker room. You can identify as however you want to identify, but that doesn't change what you are. You're still a girl or a boy. That's it. X, 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 Y. Now, I don't want to have anybody in the mention talking about, oh, well, what about uh, intersex? Let's, let's stop playing games, okay? Let's just stop. Let's stop. Girl or a boy, unless you have, like, less than a fraction of a percent of some kind of genetic deformity or something like that, but still, girl or boy, right? Mostly. 99.99999% of the time. That's what it is. A trans person is not falling into the category of intersex or whatever. We're talking about a boy that now identifies as a girl or vice versa. A girl now identifies as a boy. All right? That's, that's what's going on with that. So to accommodate them, you should go to the single-use bathroom, to the single-stall bathroom. That makes the most sense because somebody got to do it. If the girls don't want to go in the locker room because of the trans person, they're being forced to the... Um, single use locker room, but they're they're in their own locker room. So why is that a thing that is a problem? Let the trans person use a single use bathroom or create a locker room just for that trans person. So it'd be the one person in there didn't change and that's it. If you want to do that or just go with what makes sense. Boys in the boys locker room, girls in the girls locker room, girls on the girls volleyball team, boys on the boys volleyball team. It's, it's so simple, but we've come so far into this era of wokeness that simple things like that are considered to be just confusing head scratchers. Like, Oh, what are we going to do? Close locker rooms out altogether. Let's figure out the best way forward. Putting out press releases, not taking calls, all that stuff. You could alleviate all of that. You can get past all that. If you just went with what makes sense, as I said many times before, you already know what it is, but I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you, how do you feel about, Girls being banned from the girls' locker room in high school. Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. What do you think the solution should be? Should it just be, okay, if you identify as transgender, you shouldn't be on the team of your choice. You should play with the team that is your birth gender. And if you are allowed on the team, the issue of a locker room, you should just go to the single-use bathroom. Or there should be a separate place for you. You shouldn't be able to infringe upon the girl's locker room when you're not a biological girl. Because if the biological thing doesn't really matter, then what's the point in having girls' locker rooms and boys' locker rooms? If it doesn't matter, then what's the point? Because, look, anybody can identify as whatever they want at this particular point. Like, you could be a boy, six foot five, looking like Paul Bunyan, a whole lumberjack, Hollywood Hulk Hogan, the Incredible Hulk. Okay? You can look like all the, the, the biggest... Pro wrestler in the whole world, Shaquille O'Neal, seven foot tall, 300 pounds. But you could say, you know what? I identify as a woman. You look like a whole plumber. You're dressed in Timberland boots, bald head, big crazy beard. No, I identify as a woman. And they can't say anything about it. And then you have all the women's privileges. That It doesn't make any sense. As I said many times in this video, let's go back to an era of making sense and doing things that... We all know to be correct, that we all know to be factual and things that we all know to make society operate in a more efficient and just regular, normal way. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. 
And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace. Thank you.